When Uganda emerged as runners-up in the Africa Cup of Nations in 1978 after losing 2-0 to Ghana, the general feeling was that the national team would go on to build on a success of the tournament and emerge a much more stronger side in the subsequent championships. For the record, it was the African Cup of Nations' most successful journey in the tournament till then. Unfortunately, though it still remains Uganda's most notable achievement in a major competition as a country, went missing from the tournament for the next 39 years. It was only in 2017 when Uganda's Serbian coach Mirin Sljovic Mitchell steered the team into the finals of the 2018 AFCON that they managed to end the barren run. Former Cranes goalkeeper Paul Sully, who was part of the historical team just like Tom Luanga and Paulo Wuma, among others, says making it to the final is one of the best moments despite having taken part in the 1974 and 1976 finals. We saw that we are losing because if the, 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 the match had ended 1 1 and counting the away goals, it simply was going through. And they uh, had been started celebrating in the book. On, on, on their technical page, then we we told Chiruna, because Chiruna was always our savior when all things had failed. We, we told him, go and save us. Then Chiruna switched from number five to nine, and we got a free kick from Samuanga, and Chiruna jumped and loaded the ball. He jumped in very higher than the goalkeeper's hands and not let go. It was in the injury time, and that's how we could fight. According to another Queen's legend, Tom Luanga, preparations for the finals were not good considering the instability in the country then. The preparations were done at home. We didn't have international friendlies. I remember we were at Silver Spring Hotel. We used to train at Makere Ground, Makere University, and sometimes in Achivubo. To make it to the final, Uganda eliminated Nigeria 2-1 in the semi-finals. They had to travel 249 kilometers from Kumasi under an inconducive environment since the final had to be played in Accra. Of course, they wanted to win. They were scared of us. And so many, many funny, funny things happened. I very never the match. Food was not the best. It took us the stadium reaching there. The coincidence, even the guardians that we meet them on the entrance. They they refused us to pass through where they were passing. They were in rooms. No ventilation room, no what, 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 no water. But still we have that confidence that we shall win this game. The fact that Cranes had one of their key players forward, Poli Ouma, not up to the task also affected them. Ouma, alongside the late Philip Omondi, formed a formidable attacking duo as he only played the first game against Congo Brazzaville before he was replaced by Godfrey Kisitu, who paired with Omondi to make Cranes striking force lethal. The combination of uh, Godfrey Kisitu and Philip Monde was such a beauty that uh, no wonder Omondi became the top scorer. Obua, of course, Obua was a senior player and he had lost some of this team. These young men were fantastic. Yes, you know, they don't play names, they play players. <laughs> Uma had made a name, of course, we all thought, but Uma was our senior, and I respect him a lot, and I had done a lot for the cranes. But the combination of Omondi and Godfrey Situ was so superb that uh, senior Uma had no chance to play. Upon returning home after finishing runners-up in the AFCON finals, they received a heroic welcome. However, Sally says, Governor Abi Nasuru thought they did not do enough when they made it to the final. After, after losing the Sotson was not all the best. Not first, the war had started. The war with Tanzania. And as you know, the sitting government, 
goes to their attention was diverted to, to, to the war. And that we also had an incident when he, we are about to land that in them, then they play, go to the problem, and we went back up to Mombasa. So when we came, we are not today in our mouths. And reaching here, we also so found that though people were happy, but they had a rumor that we, from the League of Delegation that uh, that might be so so neat. But still they could not be believe those rumors from what we, they were hearing from radio because that by that time there was no, no TV and left us in Rosina prison. The 1978 Africa Cup of Nations final was a football match that took place on 16th of March 1978 at Accra Sports Stadium in Accra, Ghana to determine the winner of the Africa Cup of Nations. Ghana defeated Uganda 2-0 with two goals from Apoku Afri to win their third Africa Cup of Nations. As of 2019, this is the only Uganda's appearance in an African Cup of Nations final.